Welcome back to the sawmill everyone. I'm here for just a few days before I go back to the coast. I've had a few people ask me in the comments what I do with the lumber I mill. Is it for my own use? Do I sell it? Well, today I'll tell you about how I have been making a full-time income with my LT15. I'll tell you how I sell the lumber. I'll even take you into town to show you where I sell the lumber. Maybe this will be helpful for some of you who may be considering doing the same thing. And for the rest of you, hopefully I can at least provide a little bit of mindless entertainment. Before I got this mill, I debated for a long time whether to get one or not. Here on the west coast, we have a lot of softwoods. It just didn't seem like it made a lot of sense to mill up common softwood lumber when someone could go down to the lumber store, buy a two by four for just two or three dollars a piece. Even if I wanted lumber for my own use, it just seemed like it made more sense to take my logs, put them on a log truck, sell them to the commercial mills, take that money, go to the lumber store and just buy the lumber. The automated commercial mills are so efficient, I just can't compete with them with a mill like this. But I still wanted a sawmill. And in early 2020, I finally picked this one up. Right about at the same time, the world started getting all goofy. The sun's getting bright over here. Let's go find some shade. In early 2021, the price of lumber shot up, but the price the mills were paying for logs did not go up with them, at least not very much. At the same time, I had a bunch of dying trees from the severe drought we were having. At that point, it made sense to salvage those trees, mill them into lumber, and sell it. Early this year, prices shot up again. I still had dead and dying trees to salvage. It still made sense to continue milling it into lumber and selling it. When I can sell a two by four for six or seven dollars instead of two or three dollars, it definitely makes sense to mill my logs into lumber. I got the mill just at the right time. People really like the quality of lumber I can produce with this mill. And when I was able to sell it for a little bit less than the ridiculous prices they were charging in the stores, people were buying lumber from me faster than I could mill it. One of the reasons I didn't produce many videos the first half of this year, I was too busy trying to keep up with orders. Well, let's take a trip into town and I will show you where I sell the lumber. I'll meet you there. Here I am, here in my warehouse. Actually, it's not my warehouse, but I do lease this space from a local trucking company. It's a great building. Over here, we have a loading dock. It has rail access. The rail goes right through the middle of the building. Out the other side. The property where my mill is is way up in the mountains where behind two locked gates. It's just not a good place for people to come pick up lumber. But this is a good commercial place where people can come get it. The way I get my customers is mostly through Craigslist and Facebook. I put ads up, people contact me, they put in their orders or they'll buy some of the inventory I have. I tell them when I'm in the warehouse, I'm only here two or three times a week for a short time. I don't make special trips to meet people. I've spent too much time waiting for people to not show up to do that. So I tell people when I'll be here, they either come or they don't come. People, it's kind of a unique place. They actually enjoy coming in here. It would be a lot easier if I had the ability to have people come to where the mill is, but my situation just doesn't work out for that. But if you're somewhere where it's convenient for people to come where your mill is. You can be milling lumber and they can come whenever they want to come. You don't have to have this scheduling situation that I do here. But with the demand for lumber the last couple of years, it's worked out just fine. There are other ways I could market, but I just haven't had to do it. Coming up in the future when the demand is maybe less, I might have to get more creative in my marketing. I originally got this warehouse space for another product I was exporting for the last 11 years. I was exporting 40-foot shipping container loads of decorative branches. 
but early this year I quit this product. I'm at least taking a break. The demand is still there. I have people all around the world who want to send me money for these branches. But with the labor shortage, it's just becoming too difficult to get people to do the work, to get people to bring me the branches, to get people to do the other labor. So I've taken a break and right now it's making more sense to sell lumber. Well, now lumber prices are coming down Lumber futures are now below the price that they were in 2018. So does it make sense to keep making lumber? Probably, but I don't think it makes sense to keep making two by fours, two by sixes that people can get down at the store relatively cheap. I think now it's time to be looking at more specialty cuts, things that people can't get at the store. With the price of lumber falling, can I still make a full-time income with softwood lumber running my mill? Maybe, probably not cutting two by fours and two by sixes, but I don't know that I want to run the mill full time. I think I'd rather run the mill part of the time and then continue doing other things as well. I like having a variety of things I can do. Do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that, have time to explore other opportunities. I think one of the keys of business is to be adaptable to be able to take advantage of opportunities when they arise. Right now, with the heat of summer, I would rather go to the coast, spend my time over there. On the coastal property, I have a bunch of hardwood trees down, I have a buyer for firewood, it makes sense for me to be cutting firewood. What's next after I'm done doing that? Well, stay tuned to this channel and you'll find out. We'll see you on the next video made a lot of sense to mill up common softwood lumber. There's a flea on me. These frickin' deer keep bringing fleas. Stupid things. I like the deer, but I wish they would leave their fleas in the woods. Arg.